Hi guys, it's Clary. Um, today I thought I would give you a really like a new video that I've never done before and that is going to be a car tour. If you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and I think we could reach this to about maybe 50 likes maybe in the next month aren't they? A little while but there we go. My social media links will be linked in, in the down bar which is Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter um, but yeah like I said before they'll be down down in the in the bio and without further ado let's just go you will see this the steering wheel i've just got this leopard print cover on my wheel i just thought it blitzes up a little bit um it's a little bit different but that's any sort of like cheesy if you like uh, thing that i've got on it next to it they are i have my keys here with this little pom-pom thing that i absolutely adore it's from primark um, I think it was like in the accessories bit, but it was like just so cute. And I've just got my keys here, and if you want to see what my keys look like, they just look like this. These these are the Ford Fiesta keys, if it focuses. Focus on me. <laughs> just like that. Um, yeah. And then you've got your... Um, your interior lights for outside, like dip beam and full. Um, actually, this one's the full, sorry. Over there, that's my full, if I can see. That's my full there. Um, but these are just my general lights. I've got the air conditioning, which I have four. One, two, three, and my other side there, which I think that these air conditioners, some air conditioning cars, you think, oh, the, the, um, the air vents don't work. But these ones are actually quite good, because in how I like, thought, super old car it's only like 10 years old or something but um the air still comes out especially on a hot day like oh yes all you need is the air the mirror <laughs> blue <laughs> i've got my radio here that i do actually listen to now when i first started i never really used to um use it much because i was a bit worried that it might distract me but in actual fact it does the complete opposite for me personally and obviously a lot of other people too um, but I actually got a CD to play, so if the video's not working, my air is a bit like hit and miss, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, it's a little bit strange, not gonna lie. So I've got a CD as well, so I can listen to that, it's the, it is the Camila Cabello CD, and I absolutely love it, I recommend you buy it, like, as soon as possible, all the songs are incredible. Um, so you've got your CD, you've got your radio input, I don't actually have an aux input which is a little bit annoying but then again you know with the CDs and stuff it's better than nothing and then you've got your um, buttons here for the windows if they get all foggy because it does get foggy in England quite a bit as you would probably know um, these are the just the channels for the radio which I do listen to the radio sometimes as well and then I've got my air conditioning hot and cold and how high you want it and how fast and you've got your um if it focuses you've got your um in your face and your feet just your feet um again both face and feet just your face and that is the um heating for your face uh, for your feet even my glove box which my glove box just a couple of bits, just stuff that I need like batteries and chewing gum, you can't pick your chewing gum. Oh, and I didn't even realise I had that. Okay, that's niche to me. <laughs> I've literally just seen that and like, I can't remember putting that in my car, but there you go. Some people have them. These air fresheners here as well, they're just from B&M. I've got it from B&M and they're just like a little, little owl thing. I've got it on the other uh, mirror. mirror. My car is a, um, it's a three door 2005 Ford Fiesta in silver, um, I actually got it uh, in August last year when, just before I passed my test, basically I did some uh, bit of babysitting for a friend and I told them about, I was doing my driving lessons and stuff and then I, oh wow sort of thing and they were actually selling a few things and one of them was their car and they said well if you want you can have my car when I finish. And I'm like, oh, okay, like, and I thought about it, and then I realised that, yes, I, I haven't got a car yet, and I need to start practising, because I was almost, like, finishing my test, like, and my lesson sort of thing, so I was like, well, it'd be great if I had my own car, because then, you know, I can pay for my insurance, I can be responsible for it, and all that, and also I can just go out as much as possible, so I, I'm more practice and stuff, if you like, so I bought that car in, this car in August, and I've had it ever since. Uh, my mum went out with me a few times, to um, have a practice and I went with my dad a couple of times as well so different people to see what it's like they were both for my insurance um, 
And in November the 14th, I passed my test for the very first time. I was like over the moon because it's like, it's so really sad, but I've never passed anything first time. So I actually couldn't believe it. It didn't hit me straight away. Like I thought, oh, wow, you know, it, I'd feel so disappointed if I didn't pass. But because I passed straight away, it didn't like connect straight away, which is like sort of a funny feeling for me. But now that I've now that it's like sort of hit me that I passed and I've been going out like ever since I passed and stuff like every day for literally anything for my job for to meet friends like everything like just you know everyday sort of things and it's great you know it's it's nice to have something to get yourself around. I'm not trying to like brag or anything around. It's just I want to just share that. So yeah, um, that is sort of my story of how I got it. Um, I, I will say something though. I I found the theory really difficult. Like I I practice and practice, and the first time I was so close to passing it, but I was like I failed by like, like a few points, and I was like oh no sort of thing. So I tried it again, and the second time I failed it by like quite a few points the second time. So I was like oh this is the second time now I haven't passed it. So third time round I passed it, and like they say sometimes like they say you know third time lucky, but I was like I just really really hope I pass. I don't want to be going and going and going because you know the more you do it sometimes you're like well I'm not something's not right so I passed the third time and I was actually like amazed with that I was like yes finally <laughs> and then it was just my um my practicals that I had to quote for in November um and uh when I finished when I passed my test the week after I promised my instructor that I would take him out for um a celebrated meal. So I took him, I drove all the way to a KFC and we had like him and his wife and my mum and dad came out for KFC together and that was really nice to celebrate it. So he said that someone else did that when they passed. I was like, Oh well I'm not gonna be original, I was gonna do that because he doesn't love KFC. So then in the back, I just have um, three seats and I have had a few friends like drive in the back, sit in the back when I'm taking them for a ride and that's a little bit small, not going to lie, even like from here I can tell it's small. I've got my little bag of bits and bobs there, like a handy book that I actually, my friend got me, which is ideal because I didn't actually have one before, it didn't come with the, the car, so now I've got one, I've got that just in case. I've got some tape because, um, well just in case you need tape, you never know when you're going to need tape. Now I'm just going to show you my outer car. This is what it looks like. The 2005 Porsche Fiesta. Um, it's a really brilliant car I find. It gets me to A to B. No problem at all. 